Hello everybody and welcome back to the Eternal Darkness. Now when we last left off we had put this lever in this here contraption. Now let's go see oh, if I can actually run into the door without looking at the TV. Now let's go see. Wow this is weird. Everything's like, yeah I thought that was going to happen. Everything's on a slant now because we're going crazy. Now let's go see where the store takes us. It's kind of weird how everything's... Okay, that's totally normal. Ah, uh, weird chanting in our head. At least, I hope that's ow, ow, ow in our head. Alright, let's use our talisman of goodness. There we go. One second, let me just check something. I did start recording my microphone, didn't I? Yes, I did. Good, good, good. That would have sucked. Right, carefully does it. Right, now we really need to get some sanity back. Are we going the right way? Yeah. Now hopefully there won't be any enemies in here. like blood dripping from the what's that sound blood I thought there's blood dripping from the ceiling there okay I don't know if this place is supposed to be shaking or if this is just because we're okay. yeah, I didn't know. what the fuck was that is that her whimpering I I don't know. How much sanity do we have? Is it ah just under half, so we've still got a fair amount. Fool! You should have run. What? Instead you will die. Where is the essence of Mantarok? What? Um, hang on. Uh, I will not ask again, child. Calm down, Augustus. Very well, then. You will succumb to the horrors of oblivion. <laughs> so we dead? Oh, she's dead. Ha. Huh. Chapter complete. Still not sure. Oh, I see. So these are all going to be um, a small shrine. Ah, we can now change those. Yeah, so every time we complete a chapter, something's going to happen in here. Right. I'm still not 100% sure if um, Augustus is a good guy. So, not quite sure what that's going to do yet. May have to come back here. Okay. So, do we have a sanity? We actually do have a sanity meter here, too. Although it's a lot bigger. Right. Let's have a look around. So we ha haven't been upstairs yet, so that's probably the logical place to go. Ah, oh, hello. Hang on. What's this? A globe cradled in a wooden frame, its glossy surfaces painted in the likeness of an ancient map. A lens is situated on the northern hemisphere, above a label that r reads, There be dragons here. Okay. Brass frame mirror is set to the wall. The mirror's direction can be adjusted by means of two crankshafts set below. A curious device. Is it related to the telescope in some way? 
Alright, well, let's not play with that. What is this? Right, well... Brass rim mirror. Okay. Well, let's not touch anything in here just yet. Um, I do remember that room now. But I can't remember if we do anything with it. Okay. So let's go back into the main hall. I can remember where that is. That's the wrong way. Kind of strange how the camera reacts when you move into a new room, but so the main hall's through here. Right. So let's go upstairs and see if we can use our key. Portraits of the ancestral Roivers line. Uh, for yeah, same as the other description. That's the same. Um, same painting. This door is locked. So let's use our key. The key comes apart in the lock. The key to the second floor is broken. Perhaps there is some way of repairing it. Okay. Um, interesting. I wasn't prepared for that. So the key's broken, so we can't go upstairs. Is there a dresser? Well, there's got to be a dresser somewhere. Uh, yeah, they all say the same thing. Let's see if we can find... somewhere else to use our key. Piano. St Hang on, what's it? No, nope, can't do nothing with that. Can't do anything with that, no. Hmm. Hello, what's that? Nothing. Is that a dresser? Or is that just a no, that's a table. See, I would have thought that the dresser would be in a um, bedroom. Uh, I don't know if there's any bedrooms down here. Ah, oh, hang on. Here's the kitchen. Any drawers or ah, of course we got the sword, didn't we? I forgot about that. Detail wooden plaque. Yep, yep, yep. Let's stick that in there. Ah, oh, I wonder if we lose. Alex places the blade in the slot and feels it pushed back, as if the magic of the blade does not f fit the lock. Huh. Okay. Okay, game. Okay. So where would we be able to go to fix a key? No, we can't... Nowhere to go out here, is there? The call of the mansion beckons to Alex, drawing her back. To uncover the family secrets it hides, Alex will not leave until she's learned what happened to her grandfather. Fair enough, I guess. Can't go up there. I wonder if we can use the dresser key in here as crazy as that sounds I guess not hang on hang on hang on I vaguely remember actually that we get a um, uh, a spell that repairs items door is locked the door apparently is locked okay So we've been through there. What about this? In the warm glow of candlelight. Yeah. So what am I missing? Any books in here or anything? Any pickups? Hmm. Hey, sure has got a lot of books. Ex 
examine. The books in this corner seem to focus on supernatural, the writings of Poe, Lovecraft, the poetry of Blake, the art of Bosch, everything uh, with a tie to the ethereal horror of fantasy. It's all here. Reference library to the arcane. Was it Alex's grandfather's secret hobby? Sorry. <laughs> ah. Ah, wait a minute. Ah, oh, hang on. No, I guess not. So why can we examine that? There's nothing there. Nothing there. Was that... Ah, I thought that book was sticking out then. Can't examine that. Right. This looming grandfather clock seems to stand ominously in the corner, gazing on this empty room with almost. Uh, okay. So that's nothing. There has to be more here then. I guess. Is there a dress? Ah, wait. Examine. Study. It's filled with arcane knickknacks, mementos, and yesteryears and other cultures. The odor of ancient texts is faintly noticeable under the peppering of dust that covers every surface except one. The desk has been the center of activity and not a mote of dust like was on it. Here, Alex's grandfather had worked, perhaps even hours before the end. Nothing we can do. Candles. Yeah, that's true. It has to be something to do with these candles. Ah, oh, look, look above, look above. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Okay, so we want to extinguish that one and that one. I can't believe I didn't notice that picture there. Gee, I feel like an idiot. Uh, detail. Message tube. With the correct sequence of candles being lit, a hidden panel. Uh, let's take said message tube then. Uh, I bet that's got a chapter in it. An antique leather bound message tube, the kind used to transport sealed message scrolls. It appears to be unopened. There might be something inside. Let's have a look. A chapter page. Suspicions of conspiracy. Oh, what was that? Ah. Your presence is welcomed, Majesty. As always, I am honored. Our dealings are a pleasure to us both, then. He lies. <laughs> As do we all. What is this flaw you wish to discuss with us? My concern is with the other ancients. Ulioth, Shaturka. Should they unite with Mantarok, they will doubtlessly possess enough power to vanquish even thee. As darkness abhors light, and light abhors dark, the others will not, cannot, join forces. Mandarok will be bound, and the others will sink into insanity when I return. As has been foretold. I was unaware. There is much you do not know. Certain to retrieve Mandrock's essence, it is necessary to cement our place in your world. Then what of Charlemagne the Frank? What do you intend for him? The Frank is an instrument of light. He seeks to unite Europe under his banner. With this in place, my guardians will be hard pressed to perform the functions you require. For your own schemes, Pius. Think of your future. Then Charlemagne will be removed from the picture. Make sure he is dead. Or insane. Or perhaps one, then the other. Just make sure he is removed from power. Of course. 
He is as good as dead. Interesting. Yeah, so, okay, Augustus, there we go. After the chapter page is removed, the message you've no longer needed. Alex discards it. Right, so. Um, yeah, Augustus certainly is evil. Now, also notice he's talking to a blue, por uh, a green portal. I believe when we played it, he was talking to a blue portal. So that must be to do with the power that we picked in the beginning. Interesting. From my research, it is apparent that the endeavors of mankind are mere puppetry at the hands of the ancients. Whenever a king vows reform, the ancients move quickly to stifle it. Under the auspices of Emperor Charlemagne the Frank, the new Holy Roman Empire was at the height of its power. Okay. Hanc mit ad dominum et imperatorum nostrum, carolum magnum francum. Deliver this to our lord and emperor, Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him must see it. Okay. The words for his eyes only, at once. Interesting. Now, let me thumb over the manual. I'm pretty sure there's no mention. Ah, uh, what an idiot. Well, what sorcery is this? What an obad. I am bewitched. If this was meant for Charlemagne, then what will become of him? I have to warn him of this treachery. Hmm, okay. Yep, no mention of this character in the manual. Uh, that. After Antony briefly uh, describes his mission, the monk informs him that Charlemagne was last seen in audience with a bishop in the visiting chamber. Well, I don't know whether... Antony's presence is questioned by the monks. Feeling that he has trespassed upon sacred ground, the monks seem rather subdued, or perhaps out of respect or out of fear. Okay. Hey, guys. Can't talk to that one. The monk ordinarily greets Antony. However, he brings grave news of the loss of one of his order, who fell from the tower to his death. His tone is guarded, leaving Antony wondering if indeed this is the truth. So we have this message scroll. Message scrolls like this were often used to transfer messages securely. This one has a strange diagram consisting of a pentagonal shape with strange letters e at each corner. When Antony had opened the scroll, something strange happened. That something had been intended for the Emperor Charlemagne. Suspecting a plot against the Emperor, Antony pledged that he would warn Charlemagne at all costs. Okay. Now... This kind of reminds me of the chapel in... Um, Ooh, there's a door there. Is that? Yep. Muffled voices emanate from inside the bishop's visiting chamber. However, the door is locked and Anthony will need the bishop's key to enter. Gain an audience to try Okay. Yeah, this travel reminds me of Clock Tower. The original Clock Tower on the PlayStation. Not the original one on the, uh, the SNES. Ooh. What the hell is that? Uh, the hell? What? Ah, hello. Whoa, whoa, look at the floor. Well, that's something you don't see every day. Cradled in what appears to be a leathery hand lies a mysterious book that is bound in human skin and intricately decorated with shrunken bones, it beckons and yearns to be possessed. Should Antony claim the Tome of Eternal Darkness? Yes. 
That place is pretty horrifying. And now we're back here. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, look. What's this guy looking at? Somewhat uh, added by Anthony's distraction, the monk kindly requests to be left alone. Yeah, he's studying something. The monk is hard at work and does not wish to be disturbed. I remember these. A blue urn rests upon the shelf. Let's take that. I remember the urns. Anything else? Ooh. A bewildering array of books and tomes sorted neatly on a set of shelves, mostly books of a religious nature. They sit beneath a skein of dust as if no one has touched them. Hmm. Can't do anything with those. Oh, hang on. Ah, it just says the same thing. Interesting, it doesn't say anything here. Just a load of quills. Right. Nah, ooh. No, everyone's still here. Oh, that monk's gone. And now the music's stopped, which is usually a cause of concern. Visibly disturbed with grief and despair, the monk sobs pitifully. He recounts that he is not the only death to have occurred recently and wonders if perhaps the order is being punished for a wavering faith. Ha, huh, let me guess, we can't go in there yet. Yeah, so we still need to find this key. Uh, Anthony cannot leave yet. Charlemagne must be warned of the conspiracy against him. Uh, so have we got any other doors in this place? Doesn't look like it. Who are you? Yeah, we can't talk to them. So there's something we haven't done, obviously. Um, not search the coffin. Who are you? The monk informs Anthony that the order is awaiting the arrival of the bishop so the funeral rites may begin. There is much grieving to do since this is not the only recent death amongst the order. So we sp I think we spoke to everybody now. Um, can't go in that door. Well I guess the only way is up. There has to be something more up here. There is that symbol Ah! Hello. Anthony reaches out for the medallion, but the monk says that it is a venerable artifact required for research and should not be touched. So, we've, have we got to wait for this guy to bugger off? Alright. I'll, uh, I'll just go looking over here. Are they actually going to switch places again? Hmm. Faint warm sunlight filters into the room through these windows. Tiny dust motes drift, caught in the rays of the dying sun, fighting the growing shadow. Um... Maybe if we go back downstairs... Have to like run? No. Ah, there we go, there we go. Quick, 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 quick. Can we. Ah, oh, no, okay. I thought we might be able to swipe it quick whilst the monk's not looking. Um. So, how can we get these monks away? What do we actually have? Got a blue urn. Let's check it. The urn has been glazed in the rich coal. Uh, Sounds like there's something in it. 
Can we not? Hang on. Ah, oh, whilst fumbling around, the urn slips from Anthony's fing uh, stiff fingers, dashing itself into f uh, fragments as it hits the floor. Broken blue urn. And a magical rune. Right. Runes are the key element in creating spells. By collecting and combining runes in different ways, different spells can be created. Spells are magic, magical incarnations that enhance a character's natural abilities. The spell list is an inventory all, of all the spell information that has been acquired. It will allow the player to select which spells to cast, examine or assign to convenient quick spell buttons. Selecting this will allow the player to experiment with rune combinations and discover new spells. This uh, section is an inventory. Yeah. With this function, the player can review their current assignment of spells to the quick spell buttons. Anthony does not have enough components to research spells, runes. Uh, okay. Right, okay. So. Examine. Huh. There's no other door up here at all. Doesn't look like it. So we know we need that, that um... That thing there. Can we punch these guys? No. Hmm. So can't just kick some ass and get our runes that way. Missing something. But what? Check this. Urn is broken into many fragments. Perhaps it can be repaired. Yeah, I vaguely remember these. I think there's like three of these, and you have to break them to get something out of. And then I think you have to use a spell to repair them. Uh, and we still don't know what that is, so we can't do anything with it. Huh. What about this guy? This guy seems to... I'm sure we've talked to everybody. Yeah. This isn't like one little git hiding somewhere that we haven't spoke to. No. No. It looks... There's no doors either, is there? Uh... So it looks like... You might be able to go down. So if we push X. No. Z button, Y buttons, upper floor. I see, I see. So no. I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm going to call this a video. We are almost there now with our time limit anyway. Uh, when we come back, hopefully I would have figured out what to do. I'm going to run around here for a little bit see if I can work it out um, it's probably something beyond painfully obvious um, that I've missed but uh, anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video I know I have thanks for watching until next time